Hi, this is Lady Nefertiti BK, and today this is a hair video. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to do uh, hot pin curls. I call them hot pin curls because I use a flat iron, and then I pin it up instead of just very simply pinning it up. So um, I already sprayed my heat protectant, the Silk Elements Mega Silk, on my hair. Got this from Sally's when I got it free with my membership. And I'm going to be using regular bobby pins, just the regular ones. And I have my wide tooth comb. And I have my uh, GHD Eclipse flat iron that I'm going to be using. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get started. Take my glasses off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in and then I'm going to wait maybe about... I don't know, 20 minutes or so. This one's going to be a big one because this is all my bang right here. And I'm going through it one time because I usually don't flat iron my hair all the way to the ends anyway. Do it like that. And the regular temperature for the GHD um, Eclipse Flat Iron is 365. In case of uh, someone wanted to ask me, well, what is what is the the heat setting? 365. It doesn't have like um, adjustable uh, heat setting on here. It's just 365, and that's it. And um, I find that the GHD Eclipse Flat Iron is good for me when my um, relaxers are still pretty fresh. And then when my hair um, grows out, then I like to use my in-styler because the in-styler goes up to, I think it's 410? 410 or 430? Yeah, 410 or, or 430, one of those two. I'm going to leave this in for, yeah, I guess I'll go 20 minutes. Leave it in for 20 minutes. Let it cool down. Uh-oh, which one came loose? Oh, no, that didn't come loose. That was part of that. Okay. And I'm taking a big piece here um, because, you know, I like it. I like it kind of loose in the back. I still like a curl, but I like a loose curl. I'm interested to find out how this is going to turn out. Now, as you know, um, I do the regular pin curls, but I've seen people do it this way. So um, I just wanted to see how my hair would turn out with it. Oh, 
maybe yeah I'll make that one I'll make that into one Which one did that one go to? Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm turning that off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait uh, 20 minutes and then I'll be back and then we'll see the results of my hair. Okay, be back in 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm going to take these pin curls down. Let me adjust this mirror and see how it turned out. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, oh, I put my glasses down. What I'm thinking is that I should have um, maybe put more pin curls in. I've seen other people do this, and I just wanted to see how it was going to turn out if I did it. And also, oh man, you know what? The next time I do this, I should I should do it um, on freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. You know, hair that has just been done because I'm I'm about due to um, roller set my hair again, so I'm due for an, a shampoo and a conditioning treatment. So um, I'm due. So let's see. Use my Denman brush here. Come on. Things. Get my bangs there. So my ends didn't curl very much. That's okay. I gave this a try and this is how it turned out. Um yeah, so Now this is how it turned out. So let me put this behind so you guys can see the back. And I'm going to be doing an update on the hair, skin, and nails. And it is a positive report about the hair, skin, and nails. And especially since I've been taking thyroid medicine. And um, um, in case if you didn't know, thyroid medicine can cause uh, hair loss, but I was also told that that is a temporary uh, situation for a lot of um, women that take it that is temporary, but um, I haven't been seeing uh, much hair fall anymore. So I think it has come almost to a stop and I do believe it's due to the hair, skin and nails. And I just started doing the uh, Jamaican, Jamaican black castor oil and do grow stimulating oil. I mix those two together. So, and I'd have to do an update on that because I haven't done the Jamaican black castor oil and the do grow together long enough to really tell you what I think about that. But as for the hair, skin, and nails, I've been taking that for months. So I could tell you about that. And, and I have to tell you, it's very, very positive. Okay, I'm gonna turn around just a minute. I don't know how it's looking as usual. So let me turn around. You can see how it turned out there. Um, I do like the way my bangs turned out, though. I think my bangs turned out pretty good. And remember how this part was very, very see-through, like towards the beginning of the year. All of this was see-through. You could see my scalp really good right there and the hair, skin, and nails. Yeah. And I was gonna, I was gonna switch to the gummies, 
but I think I'm going to stick to the soft gels. I'm going to stick to that because um, I think I need that 500 uh, instead of the two. No, instead of the 25, I think I need the 5,000 right now. Okay, so that is my results there. And I showed you the back. Um, it didn't turn out as curly as I want it to be. Um, I just wanted to try it out. And I have to say, in all honesty, I do prefer the regular pin curls when you just pin curl it and then, you know, just leave it like that overnight. And then the next morning you have the real nice curls versus uh, the heat. And then you put the curl in and, you know. I, I think I like it the regular way. But anyway, this is how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful day and take care. Bye-bye.